What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Footballers. My name is Tony and you can follow me down below at Lyman Football. Today's video is going to be the full review on the Under Armour Hammer Lyman cleats. Now, first off, these cleats were sent to us by East Bay. So thank you to East Bay. These will be linked down below through their website. You can pick them up right now. Also, you are gonna to wanna to go ahead and subscribe. We put out two football videos every single week. So as the season gets closer, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. That way you don't miss anything and you make the right decisions when you're picking what you wanna buy. Okay, so the first thing I wanna look at for this video is going to be the traction plate on this cleat. This is an all one piece traction plate from Under Armour. It's completely plastic. Doesn't look like there's any like technologies or anything else built into it. With this traction plate, it features 10 studs around the perimeter. We have a couple small spikes in the middle and then you have four large studs on the back now i tested this on like a slick grass that was short and it performed pretty well um i think the traction plate would actually do really well on turf as well because they are slightly shorter studs not as long as some other ones um so i think really tall grass this might struggle slightly however working on just basic kips kick steps cutting jogging doing stuff it performed the tasks pretty well i think by keeping them short but making them very angular was to their advantage with this now the traction plate is pretty standard um i will say though it does feel like most of the weight is kept in this traction plate and i'm not sure why um so it feels like it's really heavy at the base speaking of weight these weigh 19 ounces which is on par with most other dedicated lyman cleats so i think if they changed up the traction plate in the future and maybe got a little bit of weight out there they'd be like a super lightweight lyman cleat the one thing i would like to mention though is they kind of made it look like they added a midsole here However, they definitely didn't add a midsole. Um, so when you are running, you can, if you're just like jogging kind of heavy, you can feel the studs through the bottom of the cleat. So if you know, you're know you coming into that kind of situation, I think long-term I'd recommend getting some kind of insole. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the fit and comfort of these cleats. Now, honestly, these are probably one of the most comfortable lineman cleats on the market right now. And the reason is because they feel like a basketball shoe, right? When you're looking at the materials on here, it literally looks like it's a basketball shoe that they strapped a traction plate on the bottom of and they added like a funky design on the front so like they're super comfortable to wear it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot at all but these are super good for linemen as you can see they're very wide on the front which is really nice so these are going to be great for wide feet and this textured thing here on the front is really good for breathability as well so your feet don't get hot in these by any means so as far as overall fit and comfort and breathability goes they are fantastic speaking of protection though they don't really have any and that's because they went with this like texture thing on the front and you can basically see through it, which means it's really good for durability. But for if someone steps on your foot, it's probably not gonna be the best option to have. But having said that, it is really good high ankle support. Your ankle feels really nice and locked in. It's very comfortable and it feels just like very airy and breathable. Now for overall styling on this cleat, the all white looks really good. The black looks pretty good as well. Um, they do have like all the other standard colors. So blue, red, green. Another good thing as well is most other lineman specific cleats like the Four Savage Elite TD2s, Four Savage Pros, Adidas Nasty. They're all in like the 140 to 150 dollar range. Whereas these are only a hundred bucks. So they're actually a lot cheaper, which is also really good to see. Now, as far as positions I'd recommend these for, these would just be a lineman cleat. I don't think you could wear these at any other position. You'd have to be most likely an O lineman. Um, I think at D lineman, you'd want a little bit more maneuverability than these. I'd maybe go with something else. Um, but I think as like an offensive lineman, these are actually a really good cleat. But yeah, like they're a pretty underspoken cleat, not a ton going on, but they're just a nice standard, well-priced item that can get you into something lineman specific, which is really hard to do. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review on the Under Armour hammer lineman cleats and if you want to pick them up they'll be linked in the description down below now if you are an under armor ride or die make sure to hit that like button and let everyone know that that's who you roll with again i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching